Alrighty, welcome back to Shock and Schlock. I'm your host, Joshua Gillis, and today is day 13, on day 16, of the 31 Days of Horror Reviews. Getting closer, we're going to be posting two review videos, so let's have a couple more days of two reviews, and we'll be back on track here. Um, so, first review here, a movie that a lot of people wouldn't expect me to review on here, probably, because it is very mainstream, and st very stupid, but I really enjoy it. That is 2003's Freddy vs. Jason by director Ronnie Yu. Um, yeah, it's the only Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street film I'll ever be covering on the channel. And boy, oh boy, Freddy vs. Jason has been a favorite of mine for a very long time, since I was a kid. Um, if you don't know the story... Not going to go into what Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th are. You know, it's Freddy and Jason. You know. You know. I don't have to explain that. But anyway, this one, uh, Freddy Krueger brings back Jason Voorhees because people on Elm Street are not having him in their dreams because no one, you know, um, he's not feared anymore. So he tries to do it through Jason to get him to come back and yada yada. They both start killing people on Elm Street. That's about it. Um, not a whole lot to talk about plot-wise here, obviously, but this movie has Freddy and Jason fighting each other in it multiple times, stupidly, for long periods of time. It has a early 2000s vibe to it that can't be matched. The dialogue in this has not aged well. The characters look like they're ripped straight from a mall in the early 2000s. The soundtrack is like that early 2000s industrial new metal soundtrack that we all know and love. And, yeah, this is a hell of a lot of fun. I don't have a ton of things to say about this. The special effects are pretty shit because, you know, it's the early 2000s. It's a mainstream movie. Um, the CGI has not aged well, but there's something about it that is very fun and silly. Like, Freddy Krueger takes the form of the caterpillar from um, Alice in Wonderland in this. Jason puts himself out when he's on fire with a beer keg. Freddy Krueger fights Jason, makes him go around like this pinball machine, complete with sounds. Um, the film repeatedly breaks the rules set by either franchise, but we don't care. This is the film equivalent of being a kid, taking two of your action figures from different things together and smash them together making them fight that is the movie um it delivers on its premise and the premise is the title it delivers in spades on that i've always had a soft spot for this one um it's probably blasphemous to say but this is probably my favorite film from either franchise because god is it just a hell of a fun time i've watched this every year since i was probably 14 15 years old and I don't foresee myself stopping any time in the future. This is a Halloween time tradition for me. The gore, like I said, is pretty crappy, but there's some... Yeah, it's fun. You get the typical teenagers being sliced in half. You get the stoner characters. Everybody's a stereotype. The film's a complete trash mess that you'd see on Sci-Fi Channel. They played it, like, constantly when I was a kid. Um, constantly. It's like every time there was a break or anything in programming it would be freddy versus jason without without fail um the dialogue between the two obviously just freddy krueger is very silly and stupid but fun i feel like everybody in this film just had fun and the role of robert england you know never been better than in this uh, as far as like the joking freddy krueger goes um I also think Ken Kersinger, uh, who plays Jason in this, who was in um, Jason Takes Manhattan, I believe, does a pretty good job. Um, obviously, physical performance, but he's one of the better hulking-looking Jasons, in my personal opinion. Um, the action set pieces and fights in this are super fun. And yeah, I don't have a ton to say about this. Just It's Freddy vs. Jason. This is my free space for the month. Um... So it's not going to be a complicated review. Just go watch it. It's Freddy vs. Jason. This is a this is a good party movie. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for that. 
So your thoughts are editing zero brain cells and zero planning. Thanks guys for watching this pretty shitty review for this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a film I enjoy, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Keep your notifications on. I'll see you guys later. Thanks.